Did you know that a staggering 85% of men are completely unaware when they're being cheated on? It's mind-blowing, isn't it? But don't panic just yet, because today I'm about to share some crucial insights that could change the way you perceive your relationships forever. Before we dive into the details, if you're serious about mastering not only the female mind, but also your own emotional responses to complex situations in your relationships, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. This way you won't miss out on any future videos that could potentially save your relationship or help you build one that truly fulfills you. Now, let's get straight to the point. Men, you need to listen carefully. What I'm about to reveal might hold the key to understanding some of the most profound mysteries of female behavior, especially when it comes to infidelity. Have you ever heard the saying, women are experts at concealing their true intentions? Well, it's not just a rumor. It's an unsettling reality. Women tend to be far more subtle in their actions than men, especially when it comes to infidelity. While many men, bless their hearts, might leave obvious signs behind, women can hide their actions with a finesse that borders on mastery. And here's where Stoicism can come in as a useful guide to help you see the deeper truths. Stoicism, a philosophy rooted in virtue and self-control, offers timeless wisdom for navigating the complexities of relationships. It teaches us that we cannot always control the actions of others, but we can control our responses to them. In relationships, especially those impacted by infidelity, this perspective is vital. It helps us detach from emotions that cloud our judgment and gives us a clear lens through which to understand the behavior of others, especially in moments of emotional crisis. Today, we'll explore how Stoic principles can help you navigate the situation of infidelity when women cheat focusing on the hidden psychological cues that might be flying under your radar. These cues, often masked as innocent comments, can signal an emotional or even physical shift in your partner's behavior. By learning to recognize these signs, you can gain better control over how you respond, empowering you to handle the situation with clarity and wisdom. The Hidden Signals six key phrases women use when they're cheating. Let's dive deeper into some of the most subtle, yet telling, phrases women often use when they're stepping outside the boundaries of their committed relationship. These phrases might seem harmless, but to a trained observer, someone who understands stoicism and the importance of keeping emotions in check, they're a red flag. In fact, Stoicism teaches us to look past surface-level distractions and dig deeper into the underlying emotions and thoughts that drive people's behaviors. The following six phrases are not just words. They are emotional indicators that can reveal the state of your relationship. Let's explore them one by one. One, so-and-so understands me so well. At first glance, a statement like this might seem innocuous. Your partner is merely talking about someone who she connects with. But don't be fooled. When your partner says, so-and-so understands me so well, it could be a subtle sign that she's developing an emotional connection with someone else. This is often the first of many steps that lead to infidelity. What seems like harmless admiration or a casual mention could be an emotional bridge building between your partner and another person. This phrase typically signals that she feels a deeper connection with someone else, someone outside the relationship. This may not always mean she's physically cheating, but emotionally, she is seeking comfort, validation, or understanding from another person. This emotional intimacy is often a precursor to physical infidelity as the emotional distance between partners increases. In Stoic philosophy, we are taught that our emotions can be deceptive and fleeting, and we should not allow them to control our actions. By recognizing this phrase as a potential warning sign, you have an opportunity to assess the situation calmly. A Stoic would recommend avoiding knee-jerk reactions like anger or jealousy, and instead approaching the issue with introspection and patience. 
It's essential to understand the underlying causes of the emotional shift and whether it's something that can be repaired through honest communication or whether it's a symptom of a deeper disconnect. 2. Don't worry, I'm just going out with some friends. At first, this phrase may seem like nothing more than a casual comment about a night out. It may even sound reassuring. Just going out with friends is a common and harmless part of a healthy relationship. However, in the context of potential infidelity, this phrase can carry much more weight. If your partner is saying this frequently, especially when you're unsure of who she's actually spending time with, it can be a signal that she's trying to divert your attention away from something that might be happening behind your back. In Stoicism, we learn to be vigilant and perceptive, but not paranoid. A Stoic would approach this phrase with rationality and self-control, considering the possibility that your partner might be emotionally or physically involved with someone else. The key here is not to react impulsively or irrationally, but to stay calm, reflect, and seek clarity. It's important to communicate openly with your partner and ask direct, honest questions, but without resorting to accusations or emotional outbursts. Rather than letting feelings of insecurity or jealousy take over, a Stoic would remain grounded, recognizing that trust is an essential element of any relationship. If trust is beginning to erode, it's crucial to address it directly, either by addressing the behavior with your partner or by taking a step back to reflect on the overall state of the relationship. 3. I need more space. In any relationship, it's normal for individuals to need personal space from time to time. The need for space can be a healthy way to preserve one's sense of individuality and reflect on the relationship. However, when this request comes suddenly and without explanation, or when it's repeated over time, it can be a sign that your partner is emotionally distancing herself from you. Women, like men, need time to process their emotions. but. I need more space may also indicate that your partner is seeking to detach from the relationship emotionally or even physically. The person she's seeking space from may not be you at all. It could be an external factor, like another person fulfilling her emotional needs. From a stoic standpoint, this is an opportunity for personal reflection. What does space truly mean in this context? Are there emotional needs that have gone unmet? Instead of reacting with desperation or an overbearing need for answers, a Stoic would advise you to practice patience and contemplation. Use this time to focus on your own growth and mental clarity. You might want to reflect on whether you've been neglecting your partner emotionally or whether you've been too dependent on her for your own happiness. Stoicism teaches us that by mastering our emotions and focusing on self-improvement, we can maintain inner peace regardless of external circumstances. The request for space may be temporary, and by embracing Stoic practices, you can determine whether this is a sign of infidelity or simply a need for emotional renewal. 4. I'm just tired of talking about it. Communication is the foundation of any successful relationship, but when your partner frequently says, I'm just tired of talking about it, it can signal that they are no longer interested in resolving issues or are emotionally withdrawing from the relationship. This phrase may be particularly concerning when it's in response to serious discussions about the relationship's future or emotional intimacy. In Stoicism, we are taught that rational dialogue and self-control are vital when facing challenges. Instead of getting defensive or upset, take this phrase as an opportunity to reflect on the state of your relationship. Is there an underlying issue that's being ignored? Has communication become strained due to unresolved conflicts? A Stoic would not view this as an end, but as a chance to reassess the situation with objectivity. Rather than pushing your partner to open up, a Stoic approach might be to create space for her to reflect on her feelings, while you also reflect on your own needs and desires. 
It's crucial to recognize that relationships require continuous effort from both parties, and sometimes the inability to communicate can be a sign of emotional detachment or a deeper issue. 5. I'm not looking for anything serious. This phrase may seem like an innocuous statement of independence, but when heard in the context of a committed relationship, it can be a red flag. I'm not looking for anything serious might be used to downplay the significance of a new emotional connection or to justify the development of a physical one. This statement often comes when a person wants to distance themselves from the emotional consequences of their actions, particularly when they're seeking intimacy elsewhere. From a Stoic perspective, this phrase is a critical moment for self-reflection. A Stoic would understand that relationships, by nature, require commitment, and that the desire for something not serious often points to a desire for freedom from emotional responsibility. It's important to approach this phrase with understanding, rather than immediate confrontation. Stoicism teaches that we cannot control others' choices, but we can control our own responses. Whether you choose to address this behavior head-on or simply observe it with emotional distance, a stoic mindset allows you to maintain your integrity and emotional equilibrium. 6. I just don't feel the same anymore. Perhaps one of the most painful things to hear in a relationship, this phrase signals a shift in emotional intimacy. Stoicism teaches that all emotions, whether joy or sorrow, are fleeting. The realization that someone no longer feels the same way can be devastating, but a Stoic would encourage you to accept this with dignity and grace. Rather than letting the situation overwhelm you with despair or bitterness, the Stoic mindset promotes understanding, self-reflection, and the cultivation of virtues like wisdom, courage, and justice to navigate through the pain. This phrase typically marks the end of an emotional connection, though not always a physical one. It's a clear signal that your partner is no longer invested in the relationship to the same degree. A Stoic would see this as an opportunity to evaluate the relationship and decide whether to address the situation with reason and empathy or to step away and maintain peace of mind. Conclusion Responding to infidelity with Stoic wisdom Understanding the reasons behind infidelity, especially when women cheat, can feel like unraveling a complex web of emotions, intentions, and psychological dynamics. However, Stoicism provides us with a powerful toolkit to navigate these difficult realities. Rather than reacting with anger, betrayal, or confusion, Stoicism teaches us to respond with clarity, self-discipline, and reason. If you find yourself in a relationship where infidelity seems to be an issue, these six phrases can act as guideposts, helping you to identify the hidden signals. But even more importantly, Stoic philosophy encourages you to maintain your peace of mind, regardless of the actions of others. The ultimate lesson here is that while we cannot control the actions of others, we can control how we respond to them. By applying Stoic principles, we can rise above the emotional turbulence of infidelity, gaining the wisdom to make better decisions and, perhaps most importantly, maintaining our dignity and self-respect in the process. So, the next time you hear one of these phrases, remember that it's not just about what's being said, it's about the deeper meaning behind those words. Embrace Stoicism and let it guide you through the complexities of love, relationships, and infidelity.